all for coming out. And we know this, Chris, this Christmas play is not on Christmas anymore, but we're still in the holiday season. We all know Jesus is the reason for this season. But our country has been protected by men and women serving in our nation's military. So I ask you to all stand in honor and respect for our veterans and those who have passed on for our Star Spangled Banner. <laughs>
2014 Christmas play. Tonight's play is entitled A Soldier's Story. This story is based off of a true story of a mother and son relationship during wartime. During tonight's performance, we'll follow life of James Thomas, a real soldier captured in Afghanistan. Okay. Uh, these are 
Then you go. That's not what I meant. Well, I told him if he told on me, I'd stab him again. 
you know what say you say you want to do something, you do it. So, uh, so during movie time, I did. I stabbed him in the hand again. Oh, gosh, I can't believe you did that. I am so sorry. <laughs> Let's get in the car now. If I don't make it back, tell the one I was the one that released the frozen meatloaf day. Meatloaf is poison. I just didn't want him to die. Oh, God. Oh. Let's go back in the day. You are grounded for two months. Two months? Three weeks? No, two months. Um, Lord, please help me with this child. <laughs> Mom gave me the best spanking I ever had that day. I gotta say, looking back, I deserved it. But I'm pretty sure the meatloaf was poison that day. And I wish I could say when I got over things got better, but in high school. Hey, Mom. Dear Mom, Banksy is like nothing I've ever done before. I get up at 4 in the morning and I'm in bed by 9. We run 13 miles a day and we train with weapons 3 hours a day. I can now hit anything within half a mile of my position. And I'm doing good. And I'm proud to be serving my country. I realize I've taken you for granted and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my handwriting is bad. I'm a little tired. I'll write you every chance I get. Miss you, Mom. Love, James.
I'm so proud of you and the soldier that you are becoming. I hope they're feeding you good. Travis told me to tell you hi, and I saw your old principal. She couldn't believe you joined the Army. She still remembers when you stabbed that kid in the hand because he called you fat. And then you blamed it on me, son. <laughs> Everyone here is doing good. And I can't wait to see you again. I pray for you daily, son. Please take the time to read your Bible. I am praying that God watches over you and all that you do. Be safe, son. Love, mom. Tell Travis I said hi too, and he should join up so we can share a bunk. I can't believe Miss Goodwin still remembers me. And I don't remember blaming you directly. I was just trying to obey my mom. That's a commandment, isn't it? As for the Bible reading, I'm not sure how much time I'll have. They are shipping me out to Afghanistan in three weeks. And I'll write you every chance I get. So don't worry. Love, James. War is nothing like I thought it'd be. You never know who your allies are here. One minute they're your friends and the next you're setting off roadside bombs. The action is getting hotter and hotter every day. And it might be a while before I can write you back. And I got the Bible you sent me and I'll keep it with me at all times, I promise. Don't worry, Mom. I'm a highly trained soldier. You can trust me.
two weeks since your last letter. I'm still praying for you, son. I know my God is bigger than any enemy that you could face out there. Cling to him and he will protect you. I pray constantly for you. Everyone has been asking about you. I don't know what to say, so I just ask them to pray for you. Dear Mom, if you're reading this, I might not make it home. I want you to know how much you mean to me. You were always there for me, and I don't think I've ever told you how much you mean to me. I love you. You've always been there for me when I made it rough on you, and I must admit it was a lot. I have been reading the Bible you sent me, and I'm trying to be safe. I miss you, Mom. Love, James.
James. Your friend just dropped off your letter. The army may think that you're not coming home, son, but I know that God's big enough to do anything. Ready to go? Yes, sir. Our work is done here. You were once a man in chains, but now you're set free.
Well, he did more than that. When I was in prison, I was a man in chains. I've been set free. Oh, the army gave me a bloody mom. Y'all have not known what could be difficult for me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you're home, son. Are you ready to go? Where are we going? Go tell my buddy Travis about Jesus. Let's go see Travis. <laughs> Yeah. 